Oh, the 433 Variation 5, how I love you. And what I even love, even more than playing the 4335, is when people create their own stand on it and they are willing to create a custom tactic for it. So today I'm going to be reviewing Quick Rage's 433 Variation 5. Here is the tactic, and we will go into that in a little bit more detail in just a second. But here is his Twitter, his X page right here. They do have a Discord where there's lots of content creators who do post tactics as well. So it's worth joining that Discord and seeing what the community are putting out there. That isn't your usual 4321, the new meta and all of that sort of stuff. It's creative, it's different. People not afraid to try some Something different in FC24. But going back to then Quick Rage's tactic. So there were a few things, and I'm not going to lie, that I was a bit reserved about. There were two instructions there on the offense the build up play being fast build up and the chance creation being forward runs. These are two areas that I don't really like to use all that much. If I do use fast build up, I normally partner it with possession for chance creation. So that being forward runs did have my concerns early doors, but I'll talk about that in just a little while. There's lots of things I like about this, the depth not going past 71 for that automatic brain dead kind of automatic press. So that's quite nice being on 67. The width being on 75 is also intriguing. I've been playing with width on 100 lately and I absolutely love it. So I was quite excited by that. There were a few player instructions that I was looking forward to. The two centre mids on get forward, but on stay on the edge of the box, match with free roam. I was quite interested to see how that would work because there seemed to be some countering of some of those instructions. Get forward, but then stay on the edge of the box, but then free roam. So how are they going to work together? The rest of them were kind of nice and, and nothing too kind of out there from what I've used before. Inverted on both the left back and right back is something I was excited about. Not being um, restricted with stay back and definitely on the inverted to kind of cover for those two centre mids is something that I was looking forward to. So a couple of instructions there, but it's worth having a look, like I said, at Quick Rage's Twitter, the Discord, and seeing what's about in the community if you aren't familiar with that. So let me start by saying I use this on new gen and for the first time this year, on old gen as well and they worked absolutely fine on both okay on new gen and on old gen which did i prefer I, I literally played the same style on both new gen and old gen and i didn't have one that i preferred in sense of the tactics i did have more fun on old gen simply because of gameplay on new gen and how people are approaching the game with a lot of ai defending but that's not the focus of this video the focus is how i found this 433 variation 5 and i would say there was one instruction that i did change i kept it all exactly the same for the duration but after about five six games i thought i'd given it enough time i actually prefer putting chance creation from forward runs onto balanced. And the reason I did that is because I'm quite a patient player when I play FC24. I guess with how strong the AI defending and kind of that drop back meta, I've learned to really be patient in the final third. The forward runs, I was finding my players running too aggressively in the final third. And that didn't suit my mind how it works where I'm a bit more patient looking for the ball to feet. Now, for others of you that are watching that like a really quick counter-attacking style, that forward runs is really going to complement you. So be reflective. If you use this tactic and you find your players being a little bit too aggressive in the final third, then maybe just switch from forward runs to balance. But if you're very quick to look for those forward passes, then forward runs will work brilliantly. Me personally, I use L1 and R1 a lot to send players on a run or to call players closer to the ball. So forward runs wasn't really needed. That was the only instruction that I changed throughout the duration. And it was all of champs qualifiers and a full foot champs run, a mixture of new gen and old gen. And I went eight, on to, eight and two in both new gen. And then I went eight and two in old gen as well. So you can see how consistent it was. I suppose in old gen, especially because of my record, I was playing some more sweatier players, uh, some more challenging players in different ways with meta and all of those things. But I went eight and two, eight and two. So how did I find it? What I absolutely loved is you'll see clips here where the left back Roberto Carlos and the right back Kunde were very much involved in the attacking play. 
unleashed inverted central and i really did find them making those underlapping runs so they weren't going the, going on the outside of the wingers they were very much in between the left winger and the center forward for roberto carlos or the right winger and center forward for kunde so i really felt that inverted and that's because of the 75 width for the attacking the wingers are nice and wide which gives the space a bit more centrally that being said it can get a bit congested if you are a little bit too patient like I am when I play with the centre forward two centre mids and then the left back and right back being inverted it can get a little bit congested and at those times you need to get the ball out reset and then they get the ball back into the middle. But I absolutely loved the way that the left back and right back worked. The CDM, I started off with Valverde, who is high, high, quite an aggressive CDM. I had to switch to Rodri, who is a medium high, medium attacking, high defensive. And as soon as I switched to Rodri with the MH work rates, I became so much solid. So just bear that in mind who you're using a medium high or low high CDM because of how attacking the left back and right back is, is definitely the way to go with this particular setup. That being said, the centre mids were a menace. Team of the year Patellas, flashback Tiago, oh my goodness me, they must have scored so many and assisted so many goals. They're there for that one extra pass in the box. They're there for those bursting runs into the box. And it was so reliable to know if I've got the ball with the centre forward, Actually, I'm going to have Patellas, I'm going to have Thiago alongside me that are going to give me some really great support and allow that extra option so that when my wingers are nice and high, I've got a more narrow option. They absolutely dictated the play, which is what I love about the 4-3-3 variation 5 anyway. I love how involved the centre midfields are, especially when you unleash them. I didn't change anything to do with the instructions. I kept it as get forward, stay on the edge and free roam. I didn't feel a need to change them at all. It worked really nicely and complemented the style really, really well. Now, we are still looking at new gen gameplay here, but it will switch over to old gen if you carry on watching and you'll be able to tell with how the game looks when it goes from new gen to old gen. Again, the wingers had the right amount of balance of staying wide, but then also making runs into the box. The front three in general just played really nicely. I didn't really notice massively the drift wide on the centre forward. Maybe in the gameplay clips, when you look a bit closer at the centre forward, you'll see him moving all over the place. And I think that's because of just how involved everyone was. The midfield three, the front three, and then the left back and right back going forward. The way that this formation played meant that I scored a lot of goals this weekend and in foot champs qualifiers as well. A lot of goals, which meant that people were rage quitting, people were leaving the game early. It definitely allowed some really attacking flair to take place. Now, I'm a fairly confident and competent defender, so I didn't mind being exposed. And I'm really aggressive in the final third. I think you can see that from some of the goals that I score, that I'm really aggressive and winning the ball up high up the pitch. If you're not as aggressive, I think you might be able, to, you might be countered a little bit too easily at times using this formation. But well, and, and the ta tactic setup, not just the formation. So just bearing in mind, you may want to put stay back on the left back and right back. It does mean you'll lose something going forward. As you can see from the clips, Carlos and Kunde were very much involved in a lot of the good stuff going forward. But you want to be defensively strong as well. I would give this um, tactic and setup definitely a go if you're looking for something a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting, bit out of the normal. You've been using two striker formations a lot of the year, 4-3-2-1 a lot of the year. If you've never used the 4-3-3 variation 5, definitely give it a go. It's a formation that I absolutely love and I will be looking at other people's tactic setup as well with the 4-3-3 variation 5. But I've talked through a little bit about how I found the tactic. Like I said, I went 8-2 and two on new gen. I went 8-2 and two on old gen. So fairly consistent with both. Like and sub if you want to see some more FC24 content and obviously being in prepared for next year of FC25. Let me know how you get on in the comment section below if you try this out. Enjoy the rest of the goals. Enjoy the rest of the clips. And I'll see you soon. Take care.